Uh, just almost before I start, I'd like to say uh, I learned something very early on about the words from uh, Barclays Bank this morning, a state erosion. You'll see in here uh, for the next 10 minutes about what we have done uh, in our estate, but it comes down to a state erosion. Uh, my father uh, in 1971, had, uh, or my parents in 1971, really were coming down to one choice, diversify very quickly and into di different things, or the estate might fold. So we did. So estate erosion has been something that we've had to uh, live with uh, for the last number of generations, and now it is completely going in the opposite direction. Glenbervy Estate is actually made up of three completely different businesses. In part, they are separate because the ownership uh, is slightly different, apart from one uh, controlling factor, and I'm either the total owner or the majority shareholder in all three uh, of the businesses uh, that are up here. The estate is by far the oldest part. It's been in my family for uh, 700 years. It's been inherited by two nieces and one cousin uh, in that period of time, and it has shrunk uh, fairly dramatically over the last 100 years, but this is where it is uh, uh, today. So in 1971, my father uh, took over a six-acre paddock from my mother, uh, who had inherited the estate. So we've been in the food industry, we say, for about 80 years, and I'll show you slightly uh, what we have done. But every family uh, member uh, or generation of my family have adapted the, fa uh, the food business, and I am doing uh, uh, likewise. We now are about 275 people in the food business. Turnover uh, that finished three weeks ago uh, was 44 million, and we divided our uh, sales into two sales divisions, a bakery division, and I'll explain that in a moment, uh, and a food division. We export about 15% of our turnover uh, at present. Uh, I will also go into uh, the biomass boiler uh, that we put up. But uh, I had initially started to look at a combined heat and power plant and then uh, the consultants that I brought in said, no, go for, one is to go into biomass and the other is to go into wind, tur wind turbines. And uh, I would like to make sure that the wind turbines that you see in this picture, uh, that doesn't look like the How of the Murns. Uh, it is actually in Holland uh, or the German border. Uh, the wind turbines actually arrived yesterday morning at about 8 o'clock, uh, so uh, they are still being erected but we uh, wholly own uh, the turbines. But we have two customers, the food business and Npower. The estate, uh, or the businesses, are in the heart of the estate. I'm 200 meters from bed to desk, very handy when my wife phones up and says the kids are hungry, uh, uh, really bad when I hear some uh, reversing truck at the weekend. But fortunately, topography actually hides uh, the estate, so, uh, the building, so you can't quite see it all around. Um, there is actually another factory uh, that's just hidden over here, and over here, the home farm is actually uh, located. So this is home to uh, my office is now in, uh, in here. But we are producing about uh, 25,000 tonnes of food per annum. 8% of our sales are in Scotland not the, the best place to be unless you are producing a premium product. And that's where we are. The other disadvantage of Aberdeenshire and why we've uh, acquired a, a site down at Tannock side, uh, just outside Glasgow, is Aberdeenshire unemployment is 1%. Can you imagine trying to run a factory with 12 to 15 engineers when the oil industry is trying to poach every single one of them every single day of the week? Uh, marketeers and the, war, uh, and the rest. It is very difficult. So we are uh, uh, looking at, at further things that we can do. We've actually put in a fiber optic cable. We have put in a fiber optic cable into our Drumlithy exchange one and a half miles away at a cost of 45,000 pounds. But it means the biomass plant can be supervised uh, by some consultants over in Holland. Our Tetra packing plant can be supervised by Tetra Pak out of their uh, engineering team in Ireland, and I could carry on. Our software is actually uh, designed in uh, Mauritius. Sadly, uh, yes, uh, I, we've been there on holiday, but I didn't go to the software house. But technology has taken uh, food uh, into a completely new area, and it continues to do so, and I'll uh, talk more about that. But from a family point of view, we've actually spent a bit of time making sure that the governance, not for 
this generation, but for the next generation uh, is in place. And we've created uh, a family constitution uh, based on really two businesses, the food business and what I call uh, the land business, land business being wind turbines and farming. All uh, family members over the age of 18, so that at present time there is 12 uh, uh, family members sitting around uh, the table uh, twice a year. It is actually, we do have a Turtle and Connell uh, trust lawyer as the family uh, chairman. Very quickly, you put away the shareholding uh, position and you try and deal as one family. But one of the key things right from the outset is what is important to the family. And that was to ensure that the reserve powers were still under the family control. Reserve matters uh, include business plans, the brand, the level of borrowing that any of the businesses do. So that uh, all happens uh, uh, on an ongoing uh, basis. We very quickly uh, looked at what does the family constitution mean to the family. And it actually took about, I'm going to say about an hour to come up with uh, the wording for uh, this slide. And it, it has only changed slightly uh, in the last five years. And that was because we bought a, a site down at, uh, in Glasgow. And we needed to change uh, the second one to significant contribution to the Merns com community and other communities in which we uh, operate. So that's what uh, we do. And I keep on saying to the kids... Family uh, financial security doesn't mean wealth, it just means security. As I said, the family uh, food business is what I've really been asked uh, to talk about. And we have adapted fairly fundamentally. We actually had the uh, provost of uh, Aberdeen uh, in my office uh, last week. And I uh, nearly pointed out uh, this guy over here. Oh can't see, right up the top left, because he was the provost of uh, Helensburgh uh, uh, back in uh, the early 1900s. There's meant to be a statue of him, but I've never been over to uh, have a look. But we have changed from retail shops to retail wholesale, from retail wholesale to bakery wholesale to bakery manufacturing, and now it is a very diverse food business, uh, covering a, a whole uh, plethora of different uh, areas. Yes, uh, we've won the Queen's Award for Export in 94. It's very nice to go down to Buckingham Palace. Uh, but we have also taken some risks. Uh, launching a meat processing uh, company in, on July the 13th, uh, 96, was not a good idea for any of the border farmers who experienced BSE. Uh, we couldn't have picked a worse time. But we did change that business uh, within uh, four years and ended up with a very good joint venture uh, for 10 years with AK Stoddards. That business now is about to be uh, converted uh, to a completely different uh, use, which is uh, fairly uh, conducive. We've bought uh, in external shareholders and we've now bought them all out. One of the key things, as Ray pointed out, is innovation. And where do you get innovation? particularly food, surely it's all the same. Well, there's a number of things. One, different countries around the world are doing it at different times. We have licensed technology from New Zealand, Denmark, Germany, and America. In America, from America, we were the first company in the UK to bring you American muffins. I do apologize here and now, and publicly. But they are now everywhere. Our market share is probably a fraction of what it was. It is now a hugely much bigger uh, market position. We have patented some products. Every hot cross bun that Tesco and, and Asda have sold for the last 10 years, that white cross on the crossing paste, we do it. 340 tons per annum. Actually, we've lost, just lost the Tesco uh, business. Creme brulee. Even Huey Campbell Adamson can make a creme brulee. All you have to do is clip the pack, pour it out, heat it up, and let it set. It doesn't take a lot of skill. But the skill within kitchens has fundamentally uh, uh, changed, so we better get it uh, all right. If we've got to take uh, salt out of um, cake, how do you do that? Well, because bi sodium bicarbonate is the thing that gets cakes uh, to rise. So if not allowed salt, what do you do? And we have just patented uh, the use of ultrasonics uh, to be able to get cakes uh, to rise. But as I said, 
the skill levels in kitchens and in, uh, around the world uh, have changed. If you go to um, a Little Chef to whatever, how do you get a, a pancake for brick, uh, breakfast? Well, we'll probably do them for you. We'll do the mix so that they, all they have to do is put it onto the, the hot plate. And we'll do the maple syrup in that top left-hand uh, uh, picture. If you want a, a Sicilian lemon pot, we do that. We do it 4,000 liters an hour through a treasure packing machine. Tetra Pak, I say their machines are not flexible. They're not, but we do. We're changing four to six times a day and operating 24-5. Uh, if you go to a restaurant, how do you get uh, a different meal for every member of your family within a 5, 10, 15 minute uh, period? The answer is we put the sauce into a sachet uh, for uh, the business. The answer is, if you look for volume, go to a supermarket. If you look for profit, go for almost every other market that you can ever dream of, because the supermarkets will not give you that, and particularly right now. Well, one thing landowners are very, very good at, and that is supporting the community. I think we have all done it and are, are doing it on a day-to-day -day basis. We have given about 1% of our profits uh, to charitable causes for as long as I can remember, and it's does a whole range of different things. We don't give to Save the Children Fund. It is a very good cause. We do it for things that's in the community. One of our local villages nearly got flooded two or three years ago, and the, play, uh, the children's play area got washed out. I said, well, I wasn't going to replace that, but what I would do was pay for a consultant to, and for the work to be done to stop Ockhamblay from ever flooding again. Much more important. But it is also uh, our own staff. We provide bursaries uh, for all staff, all grandchildren of staff, uh, uh, to go to uh, university or college. We will do two, three apprenticeships uh, every year. We're actually talking to uh, the school in Lawrence Kirk at the moment. Do they have a 16, 17 year old that isn't going to make university, but could be a very good engineer? And we'll take them on uh, either on a yearly basis or uh, on a, a permanent basis. I was over in Vermont uh, speaking to Ben and Jerry's ice cream. They've been a customer for a while. I showed them a, a version of this slide and they got very excited. The main reason is that uh, between the biomass, which is uh, wood chips, um, we're using between uh, 50 and 75 tons of wood chips per week uh, at a moisture content of about 35%. And we've got the two uh, turbines uh, going up. We're saving about 10,000 uh, tons of CO2. Ben and Jerry's got very excited, and therefore we could actually move on to stage two, and that was the further conversation uh, we had. But I am, uh, first and foremost, uh, a landowner. Uh, yes, my grandparents got married in uh, 1932, and there were 64 employees. There's now 280 uh, across the food business and uh, the estate. Turnover is growing from 44 to 50, uh, uh, 8 million in the next three years. Turnover doesn't pay the bills, profit does. So we've got to make sure that uh, we make the profits. I do believe right now is a great time to invest in any business, of which uh, we are, as a family, investing 10 million, 6 million in wind turbines. Uh, and a further four in the, uh, the food business. One of the things that Ray pointed out is the ag in agriculture, we don't add enough value. I stand up here slightly ashamed, but I've shown this slide for the last 10 years. We buy about 15 million pounds worth of agricultural products, but only half a million from Scotland. Our raspberries, you would have thought, must be able to come from Angus, but they can't deseed them. So we buy them from Holland, which in actual fact, uh, the Dutch buy them from Chile. Broccoli, it's left in the side of the field. We make a cheese and broccoli, uh, uh, sorry, it's, a, it's a, a broccoli and Stilton sauce. We don't need lovely florets. We need the, the waste. We have to buy it from Spain because it's the only company that will actually do it to the specification we want. It's a lot happening out there, but Scotland Food and Drink is there as an organization that not just helps us, but helps any uh, uh, food business that's going. There's lots of opportunities. 
Ray talked about uh, the Commonwealth Games, the homecoming and the Ryder Cup. Food in Scotland this year is going to be to the forefront of many more than the five and a half million people that live here. And it's an opportunity for you to, to div uh, diversify uh, into it. There is money and there is support uh, around there to be able to do it. I thought I'd better just kind of give some other examples that's happening in Aberdeenshire. I didn't dare go uh, too far. From dairies to oats uh, to uh, meat processing, cold, uh, cold processed uh, rapeseed. But I could have gone on to cheese and jams and preserves, many other farm shops. It's out there. Their bankers are out there. Barclays, uh, I'm not allowed to say too many names, but Barclays are out there to support. Uh, we've used uh, uh, Bank of Scotland for the last 80 years, and they've uh, done us uh, proud. And there's Triodos and others that will help. There's Roosters Potatoes, Rannock Smokery, Hardy's Mill in the Borders. I saw, unfortunately, that the oats porridges don't come necessarily for 100% Scottish oats. But if you think volume is an issue, well, one in three chickens out of a supermarket is imported. They're coming from Thailand and from uh, Brazil. If anyone thinks that dairy is a great place to be, I'd, I'd strongly advise you to look at a, a YouTube clip of the Al Marai Dairy in Saudi Arabia. It is one farm, but it's divided into six. It covers 82 square miles. It's got 135,000 daily dairy cows. You can produce a lot of milk from 135,000 cows. I imagine the, the effect uh, on Scottish uh, natural heritage, uh, seeing could we do that in Scotland? That would be fun. But Tesco offers volume. Many of the other markets uh, offer volume. It is your call. But Scotland Food and Drink is here to help you. There's lots of things that you can do, if not diversify into uh, AD uh, and get some uh, uh, power uh, to go through. Uh, your other option is uh, bury your ha uh, head in the sand. Thank you very much.